When my father went to the Napa Valley for the first time in the 1960s, he fell in love with the area. And then after he came back in the 1980s and uh, he invested with a 5% in uh, uh, the winery called Atlas Peak. He traveled for one reason because he is extremely open-minded and uh, he wants to discover other new wine areas of the world, not only be based in the Chianti Classico. For us, it's a matter of understanding what is happening in new wine areas and learning. We had the chance in the 1990s to invest totally and to own the winery. And at that time, we started to call it Antica. Antica is the short name for Antinori, California. Antica and the, uh, is found in the Atlas Peak district, uh, which is 1,500, 2,000 feet above sea level. It's on the hillside of Napa Valley, so a different and quite unique area of Napa Valley. So it makes wines quite different. Also, it's very important the climatic conditions are a little bit cooler because it's higher, and also because it's volcanic soils that makes the wines um, certainly more structured in a way and also more elegant. When my father went to Antica more uh, consistently in the 1990s, he started to grow also Sangiovese because we are in love with Sangiovese since uh, it's our grape variety from Tuscany, from the Chianti Classico. The results weren't as good as um, Tuscany. And I think this is a good example of uh, what grape varieties indigenous grape varieties really mean because they give the best results from where they come from. But then after a few years, uh, especially with the release of Antica, we instead concentrated on Cabernet and on Chardonnay, so the two most important grape varieties coming from the Napa Valley. The style that we are looking for is uh, certainly a California Napa Valley style because uh, we are growing the grapes from that area. But also, I think it's very important to have uh, the philosophy of uh, the old world, and in our case, uh, the Italian Chianti Classico. The new world in this case means uh, a very powerful wine uh, but it has the characteristics of the old world, which is the finesse and the elegance. It's like an elegant woman. It's very difficult to describe her, but she can be extremely elegant. So uh, I would say structure and elegance together combined in one wine. For us, for my sisters and for myself, and obviously also for my father, to have our name on the bottle is a big responsibility because uh, it has been built in more than 600 years. So there's a long history behind it, but it's also a great challenge because there's a lot to do to maintain what has been done and to try to be innovative, to look ahead and to be extremely open-minded to see what is happening in the new world and in the next generations. 